even as we move into new territories like human support robots or car sharing services. This is something about cars. Something quite special. Something that any form of mobility should continue to inspire. And that is freedom. Because when people are free to move, anything is possible. I believe that is why cars are fun and people see cars as something they love rather than just a machine. So, over there, in the center of our stand, the GR Hybrid Sport and the TJ Cruiser are here to remind us that unless cars are fun, they are not really cars. Even a very classical car like the all new Century over there is getting people heart pumping after only the second update in 50 years. Yes, the love of cars can be timeless, but the passion for mobility goes beyond cars. For us, it means expanding our capability into technologies that can help people move around town or across the room with a better experience. The first key technology area is AI and connected car. Concept I, right here, is not just a design exercise or just a car. It's a beautiful object that becomes your partner thanks to AI and connected technology. It can capture your state of mind and keep you engaged to reduce the risk factors of accidents. It understands what you like, what you want to do, and establish a new relationship with you. But Concept I doesn't come alone. The hard work, right there, allows to continue your journey when cars are not allowed to go. And the high ride there represents buyer-free access to personal mobility thanks to its easy access with a wheelchair. The entire high series share the same AI agent, UV. They are vehicles you can love and that love you back. Artificial intelligence, however, will only be possible thanks to connectivity and big data. This is why, as early as 2018, the new Toyota Crown, based on the concept here on my left, will be the new norm for connected vehicles in Japan. And after Chrome, we will equipped almost all our passenger cars in Japan and the US by 2020 with data communication modules and connection to our mobility service platform in the cloud. Our second area of focus, automated driving, it's also a key technology to realize mobility for all. At Toyota, we develop both chauffeur and guardian modes. In chauffeur mode, our car will be smart enough to handle all driving tasks and provide mobility to people who cannot enjoy it now. In guardian mode, we combine human and machine skills to make driving safer and to keep liberating feeling of driving as the car technologies is running on the background for your safety. Guardian and Chauffeur both reflect Toyota's unique approach of developing a safety system where the driver and the car act like a team. We call it Mobility Team Made. And it will be on the market in 2020 for highway and in the early 2020s for normal roads. Finally, let me talk about electrification. Our first mass-produced electrified car was on this stand here in Tokyo 20 years ago. It was the Prius. And it was a pioneer in the electrified vehicle space. Our message was clear. Electrification was going to change transportation for good. Since the purpose of electrification is to reduce the negative impact on the environment, the real value comes when those vehicles are sold in significant quantities. Today, 
Toyota always sell 37 electrified cars in more than 90 countries with nearly 1.5 billion units sold annually. In fact, if you take the entire global market for electrified vehicles today, the Toyota market share stands at 43%. With more than 11 million electrified cars sold in the past 20 years, we have developed and improved many electrified components, including motor, inverter, electric control software, and batteries. This experience put us in a very good condition for the next step, which is pure EVs. We have no doubt that EVs will also be one of the key solutions in the near future. And this is why we have created a new company with Mazda and Denso to develop EV architecture with a view to mass production. We also have invested in advanced battery research for a very long time. And we believe our solid state battery technology can be a game changer with the potential to drastically improve driving range. We are the leader in the field in terms of intellectual property and currently we have more than 200 engineers working hard to be able to commercialize this technology sometimes in the early, early 2020s. That doesn't mean we are moving away from fuel cells. Here in Japan today, we are introducing two new FCVs, demonstrating our firm commitment to realize hydrogen society. The Fine Comfort Ride prefigure a premium FCV with spacious interior and driving range around 1,000 km. And the new FC bus concept, SORA, is the evolution of the two buses already in operation in Tokyo. Starting from next year, more than 100 of them will be operated in the Tokyo metro area. The Olympic and Paralympic Games to Tokyo 2020 will be an important interim goal for us. There, the world will be able to experience the future of mobility for all. Leaning up to the game, you will see the street of Tokyo change with our new Japan taxi that will extend the welcoming feeling you get in Japan thanks to its easy access for people in wheelchairs. At the game, you will see some of the concept high series as well as our automated car and also Hydrogen Society will also be on show. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, let me tell you our commitments. Toyota loves cars, and we will bring ever better mobility to ever more customers as technology frees us to push our boundary. And I can promise you that our mobility will always be fun. Our impossible has just started. See you again in 2019 and 2020 here in Tokyo. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu.